Now we are going to compare the three tables and we are going to learn the sixth tables. So how we are going to compare means using the grid table. Using the same grid, uh, grid tables, we are going to learn the six table. We'll see how it going to be work. Okay, see here. So can anyone tell me whether the 3 or uh, when comparing 3 and 6, which number is a bigger? Of course, it is a 6 is a bigger. So, we want to draw the 2 big square. As usual, 2 standing line and 2 sleeping line. Two standing line, two sleeping line. Okay, so what is the need to draw the two big square means when comparing two, when comparing six, sorry, when comparing three, six is a bigger number. So we need a big portion. So I have drawing the two set of square box. Okay, so as usual, what I told you in a three a grid method. So two standing line and two sleeping line here also two standing line and two sleeping line and we want to check it we want to make it sure whether it is, has a nine square in it let's check one two three four five six seven eight nine okay it's a correct next one two three four five six seven eight nine this is also a correct so as we follow the same method now we are going to follow here also okay now i have pointed i have just put a point mark here i told i will tell the reason afterwards okay so as usual how how you follow for the three tables you are the same uh, steps you are going to follow to the six table also so how we have, we have followed one two three okay next 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. As what we have done it in a 3 tables, I have also followed it in the 6 table. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, the same procedure we have followed. Okay, this is the first set of square we have finished. In the second set of square also the same procedure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. The same procedure. The same procedure followed for the two boxes. Two boxes. Okay. That is a, uh, in for a sixth table. Okay. What is the next step we have uh, seen here? We have to put the first digit. Is it the first digit? 0, 1, 2. 0, 0, 0. 1, 1, 1. 2, 2, 2. Next, 3, 3, 3. 4, 4, 4. 5, 5, 5. Same method because here the box was extended. Here the box was extended. So also we have extended the number. So here see how only the from the 2 is enough. So putting 2 is the enough because the box was finished. See here again we have a remaining box. So I have in, after 2 I have filled with the 3. 3 after 4. 4 after 5. So now we have finished the uh, step 1 and step 2. Now you can ask oh how it works. Because 6 into 1 is not a 3. But you are putting a 3 means yes it is have a one more step. Let's see, let's see one more step. You want to make it a diamond shape. So only I have pointed the dots here. One, two and three. One, two and three. So I make it as a diamond shape. Now you can see one into six is equal to six. 2 into 6 is equal to 12, 3 into 6 is equal to 18, 4 into 6 is equal to 24, isn't it? Now we want to only write 5 into 6 is 30, we already know. We already know you should not get the 30 here, you have to remember now the 5 into 6 is a 30, now we have finished. Next, 
सिक्स इंटू सिक्स इज ईक्वल टू थर्टी सिक्स सेवन इंटू सिक्स इज ईक्वल टू फोर्टी टू एट इंटू सिक्स इज ईक्वल टू फोर्टी एट नाइन इंटू सिक्स इज ईक्वल टू फिफ्टी फोर एज लाइक अ फाइव यू वॉन्ट टू राइट टेन इंटू सिक्स इज ईक्वल टू सिक्सटी नाउ यू कैन गेट दि सिक्स टेबल ओके सो इट विल बी वेरी मेसी so once again i'm just uh, repeating the procedure please uh, get into that uh, don't get confused okay now we are going to learn the three as well as six tables we are because why we are reading the three and six tables uh, comparatively means because we are going to follow the same procedure for the third table and the sixth table that is a big reason to read as simultaneously or comparatively so what is the method we are going to follow for the th to study the th third table and the sixth table means this is a grid method grid means is nothing but we having like a this uh, standing line and sleeping line it is called as a grid okay so first we want to for a third table now we, now i am going to tell about the third table for the third table you have to draw the one big square Go please listen. For the third table, you want to draw the one big square. In that big square, you are going to draw two standing line and two sleeping line. See here, two standing line and two sleeping line. Okay, children. Now you want to now uh, put the number. You want to assign the number. But here, the first you have to take it like a this portion. standing line portions alone okay so you want to mention 1 2 3 1 2 3 i have written here isn't it 1 2 3 next 4 5 6 next what is the method 4 5 6 next what i have written 7 8 9 this i finished second step is now i have put out the in a standing line procedure i have written 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 next you want to fill the first digit number in a sleeping line position that is for a first sleeping line you are filled with the 0 0 0 next second sleeping line you want to fill the number by 1 1 1 next third sleeping line you want to fill with the number 2 2 2 okay 2 2 2 next you are going to assign it 1 into 3 is 3 2 into 3 is 6 3 into 3 is 9 Four into three is twelve. Five into three is fifteen. Six into three is eighteen. Seven into three is twenty-one. Eight into three is twenty-four. Nine into three is twenty-seven. At last, that everybody knows that ten into three is thirty. So no need have a don't need have such a tricks to uh, find it out. What is the tenth? Ten into three is thirty. we already know it so this is the simplest way to remember the three table as i said before like a four table how the stars help you so for every instant if you again you put the star and read that is a not at all used to study in the simplest way so what is the uh, main aim for a simple way of a reading uh, this way of reading a tables means you want to remember only the number you want to remember only the number 1 2 3 0 1 2 so this is a simplest we have to remember number alone for every instant you are again putting the grid method and you are finding out it is uh, it is not going to be very easy and not going to be very you are not using this method efficiently that is the true fact that is a fact if you are in for every instant you are drawing the grid and you are finding out you are not using the grid method efficiently if you want to use this grid method efficiently means you want to remember only the number alone okay now we have come uh, now i have completed the third table hope you all understand now i am just coming to the sixth table so what is the sixth table so as same like a third table so uh, before i am uh, going to the sixth table what i have told you so which number is bigger 3 or 6 so 6 is a bigger number so you want to draw the two boxes here two boxes here so as, as same as same like a uh, uh, three grid uh, three table for what we have uh, drawn for a grid 
a same method we have drawn the two boxes here and we want to recheck it whether it having a nine small square boxes inside yes we have checked it in upper box also nine box uh, nine small square and downwards also a yeah, small nine squares are there so as as same as three or third table i'm going to mark it one two three four five six seven eight nine as same like here downwards also 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay now it is a sleeping time method filled it with a 0 1 2 3 4 5 so this is the small minute step you want to there is a small minute step deferred here only 2 is enough there is a no other box to write 3 4 but here the boxes are there so you want to write 3 4 and 5 Okay, next is having a one more extra step. What is the one more extra step means? Here we directly find it out. It is 1 into 3, 3, 2 into 3, 6. But here we are going to select the boxes. What are the boxes we are going to select? Means we are going to select the diamond. Where the diamond edges are there. See here I have started in the center portion. 1, 2 and 3. So I'm going to take only these boxes alone, only these boxes alone. See here, started in the middle, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Okay, I'm just going to take it only the edge boxes. See here, this is a 1 into 6, 6, 2 into 6, 12, 3 into 6, 18, 4 into 6, 24. Next, 5 into 6 is 30, I've completed first 5. Next, 6 into 6 is 36. 7 into 6 is 42, 8 into 6 is 48, 9 into 6 is 54, 10 into 6 is 60. I have completed the 10 steps. Okay, now you hope you all understand how the 3 table and 6 table works according to the grid method. Okay, children. Now see how many tables we have completed. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9 and 10. How many tables we have completed? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 tables we have completed. So from 1, uh, 2 to 10, how many tables remaining are there? 8, 9, 10. Moreover, the result only 3 tables are left over. What are the 3 tables? 7, 8, only 2 tables are left. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Only here. Now we are going to concentrate only the two tables alone. What are the two tables? 7 and 8. We will see how the 7 and 8 works.